The temptation is to always try something knowing lessons can always be learned. What we lead ourselves toward can sometimes block or blind us from the real season of purpose. We know what needs to be done, but we'll utilize the strength of these temptations from having to finish the job. Identifying the situation is only a sliver. The next expectation is to mend or sweep up what's in question. But so many don't. We choose to sweep things aside and or just walk by. Acknowledging the situation isn't fully doing the job. If I think this way, how many other professionals are doing the same thing? From car mechanics to doctors, financial advisors to a fast food manager. How many things need to get done, but the temptation is to always try something, knowing lessons can be learned? Taken away from what really needs to be finished. You know, like housework, homework, our taxes, calling the dentist for a checkup. Allowing the temptation to own your next decision. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer, the silent wolf. I observe life. I listen to conversations. I do the studying. And then we get to create a conversation. This is The Daily Mess. There's a classic Christmas song called, Do You Hear What I Hear? Well, do you? Do you hear what I hear? Are we trying to hear the same thing or assuming we just heard what we thought was the same thing. Learning how to truly tune into a conversation requires our full attention. I mean, I could be sitting in the same exact room with my wife, watching the same movie or binge watch, and because I'm show prepping for my podcast, I miss out on a huge chunk of what's presented. I'm right here, the same room, but my mind is preoccupied. And the same is true about talking on the telephone while you're driving listening to a true crime podcast while driving. We're giving ourselves clearance and permission to allow our minds to disappear from what is truly taking place. Oh, we've got this. Well, do we? Do you hear what I hear? While it's sinking in, are you digesting it in the way that it was meant to be delivered? Those inner editors instantly jump into action. And although you did hear what I was sharing... Those editors are giving you a reason to create an opinion. Do you hear what I hear? Are you physically listening to the person that you're with? Are you in tune with the expectation? And how can you change things around? Through awareness. By knowing when you check out. When people go on to certain subjects, boom, you're gone. You don't want to hear certain things because it, it will affect you. And it does emotionally as well as physically. So therefore, the best thing that we have trained ourselves to do is to accept that, oh, I just heard them, but I'm not going to react to them. I'm out of this picture. But you've got to learn how to listen to what is being shared so that you can activate in the right way. Because how many mistakes do you make every single day? And then you go, jeez, I knew that already. But why didn't I do it the way I was supposed to? Do you hear what I hear? Let me share with you my weakness. It's not that I do not hear what you're saying. It's just that my mind is listening to every single voice that is playing at the same time. Therefore, when your words finally filter through my ears and get to my head and heart, all of a sudden it was like, what? What did you say? So learning how to tame down those voices is going to take a little bit of time. Learning how to listen to yourself without tuning out everything else around you. How about those people that have a conversation with you and their backs are turned? They think you can hear everything that they're saying, but those voices in your head and heart are much louder. And really, you don't have to read their lips. They're just already there. I write every day. I keep a daily writing journal and I also have a defrag journal. Learning to give the voices a place where they can spill their little whatevers. But then when it comes time to being with real physical people, those voices, they had their time. And I will tell them that those of you on the inside of me do not have a place when I'm out here with these people because my art is to be with them and to create a conversation. Something came to me a few weeks ago that I've learned to live by, and that is, are people glad to see you? And I said, no. And I questioned that. And the answer that came back to me was, the reason why they're not happy to see me is because they're happy with the idea that I recognize them. So I ask again, do you hear 
what I hear. Put yourself in that position of putting them ahead of the voices in your head. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.